Okay, it's time for more science. Uh, so I was an optics um, engineer, and so this is a optical device. Um, you may have seen it, you may have not, but uh, it's in this cool little box. And there we go. Let's see. It is a wall and sack, something or other. If you've ever seen one. It's a uh, spectrophotometer. It's a handheld spectro spectrophotometer. And uh, the way it works is that there is an eyepiece. So you put that up to your eye like this. You look, you look in there. And it has two tubes. So it has one tube that the light enters and it runs through here and it goes through a grating. So it breaks the, ra uh, it breaks the light up into a rainbow. So you see uh, the spectrum in the eyepiece. And then over here is a reticle that has the um, lines of various frequencies and they're labeled, you know, 500, 600, 700 nanometers. And so there's a prism in here that combine the two. So you see a rainbow and then some lines on top of it. So you can see which, uh, which frequencies you're looking at. Now it needs to be calibrated. So the rainbow and the lines need to be uh, calibrated by moving the lines back and forth until they're, until they're correct. So that's what this little, um, that's what this little thing does. You turn that and it moves the, uh, it moves the lines back and forth. So I calibrated this using a laser. So I have a green laser that's um, 532 nanometers. So I know that's exact. And so I, I moved the reticle until I got 532 and locked it down. There's a little locking screw here. And so it's calibrated and it's, it's pretty cool. It's all, it's all metal. It's, it's heavier than it looks, but, uh, you can go around and you can look things. Uh, you can look at, um, different light bulbs, see what the spectrum is for the light bulbs. You can look at things that have line spectra in them, like fluorescent lights or cold cathode displays. You could take a look at, uh, the screen, let's say of an iPhone and see the red, green, and blue lines in the screen, different, different color LEDs. So it's still kind of fun to wander around with. I mean, obviously, you know, it's not, you can't make measurements with it. Um, and it was actually quite difficult to photograph. Uh, I'll, I'll include a couple of pictures here, uh, showing you, uh, showing what it looks like staring in here. Now, fortunately, an iPhone camera is very, very small, and I'm able to put the iPhone camera right up to the eyepiece and uh, pretend like I'm looking through the eyepiece. And I was able to get a, some reasonable pictures. They're not, they're not great. So the first picture here is of a broadband source. This is just a LED light. So it has broadband phosphors. And so it gives a pretty nice even spectrum. The second picture here is of my monitor. So I have an old L LCD monitor that has a cold cathode display and the cold cathode display has distinct spectral lines in it for red, green, and blue. And this one actually seems to have a, a orangey spectrum as well, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure what phosphor caused that, but there's kind of a, almost a brown color, a dark, dark orange is brown. And yeah, it looks interesting. So anyway, they're not cheap. And the last time I looked, I think they were like $120. I, I paid a lot less. I think I bought this one for $60 a long time ago. But uh, yeah, it's a fun thing to play with.